A tech company called Salesforce is the perfect example of just how tough it can be to close the remaining pay gap. Salesforce is huge, 30,000 employees, $10 billion in annual revenue, and it was just ranked by Fortune as the number one best place to work among big companies. That helps explain why founder and CEO Mark Benioff was so cocky when the woman who runs his human resources department came to talk to him about equal pay back in 2015. So when Cindy Robbins came to you and said, you know, we may have a problem with unequal pay in the company, what was your reaction? Well, I said, it's, that's not possible here. You know, it's, it's not possible. Why was it impossible? It's impossible because we have a great culture here. We're a, we're a best place to work. And we don't do that kind of thing. We don't play shenanigans paying people paying people unequally. It's unheard of, it's crazy. Crazy because Benioff had already made promoting and retaining women a priority at Salesforce. But personnel chief Cindy Robbins says he never ordered an audit to make sure men and women were being paid equally. And what I told Mark was the one thing we can't do is do the assessment, look under the hood, see a big dollar sign, and shut the hood. 